India's first semi-high-speed regional rapid transit system. Design speed of 180 km per hour. An engineering spectacle passing through the densely populated national capital region. World-class technology, new age train sets and a vision to modernize the way India travels. India's capital city. Standing at the heart of NCR, Delhi is a vibrant melting pot of dreams and growing aspirations. This means that citizens from neighboring regions not only take up a tiring daily commute to the epicenter, but many have taken up residence here, swiftly adding to the congestion. The National Capital Region has a population of 46 million as per census 2011 and is projected to become the most populous mega region in the world soon. Can the region and the capital city handle the pressure of this escalating growth? The idea of a National Capital Region was born in 1985 with an aim to allow the capital to breathe and spread out. NCR comprised of Delhi and parts of neighboring states. It's been 40 years and yet the struggle continued, primarily due to a lack of efficient regional connectivity. In life, there is a problem that when I reach 10 o'clock, I have to leave at 7 o'clock at night. And when I reach 5-6 o'clock at night, I have to reach 10 o'clock at night. So, I have to reach 3 o'clock at night, 2-3 o'clock at night. ट्रेन अब मुझे टाइम सब पहुंचाती है कभी-कभी नहीं पहुंचाती कभी-कभी वो लेट भी हो जाती है शाम को भी जाता हूं तो चार घंटे लग जाते हैं An overburdened bus transit that has significantly contributed to noise and air pollution A saturated rail network that is struggling to keep pace with the changing times A modern metro service but confined to the peripheries of the capital the question that arises is what is it that can bind it all together, making life simpler for citizens from all around. This is started in 1990s, late 1990s, when Ministry of Railways and Ministry of Urban Affairs, they came together to develop this regional railway system. A study was commissioned where Wrights took the lead and developed a report to suggest the corridors and the expected ridership and other details regarding the feasibility of this project. Formed in the year 2030, the National Capital Region Transport Corporation or NCRTC was set up to turn the dream of a futuristic, modern and reliable transit network into a reality. Out of the eight recommended RRTS corridors to connect the towns and cities in NCR with high-speed rail-based commuter transit services, three corridors were prioritized for Phase 1 implementation. The delhi Merit corridor is the first one to have begun construction. Densely populated and round-the-clock traffic construction on this corridor is the perfect example of a logistical nightmare. This has been observed across the world when the public transport system, especially the rail-based ones, when they are safe, reliable, affordable and punctual. Lot of uh, modal shift takes place from private vehicles to such systems. We identified the risks involved in implementation of this mega project 
and we systematically took actions to mitigate them one after another. Aerial surveys helped in route finalization. Major roadblocks were successfully identified. Shifting and upgrading the electrical lines, water pipelines, sewer lines and high power lines was carried out well in advance. 3D BIM models allowed easy implementation of design changes. Solutions were found and implemented. Within just three months of the foundation stone being laid by the Honorable Prime Minister, construction commenced. A successful regional transit network is one which makes itself accessible to the people. The three priority RRTS corridors will converge at Sarai Kalikha and be interoperable, enabling commuters to move from one corridor to another without changing trains. The 82-kilometer-long Delhi Merit Corridor will start at Sarai Kalikha and will have a total of 16 RRTS stations ending at Modipuram, Merit. An intelligent mix of 70 kilometers of elevated alignment and 12 kilometers of underground stretch will make for this state-of-the-art corridor. Further, Merit Metro services will also be provided on the RRTS infrastructure with nine additional stations. I'm very happy that uh, Delhi Merit RRTS is reaching a critical stage in completion. It's multimodal connectivity with Metro in Delhi and in NCR region with buses, with other modes of transport, would provide a seamless movement for passengers within NCR region and would set new standards in India. RRTS stations have been located strategically close to the existing public transport systems to enable seamless multimodal integration. For example, constructed adjacent to the Anand Vihar metro station, RRTS station will allow commuters easy access to both the pink and the blue line as well as the ISBT. Thanks to well-planned foot-over bridges, commuters will also seamlessly move towards the Anand Vihar railway station on one side and the Kaushambi bus adda on the other. Carefully crafted plans and with a skilled team, RRTS has been gradually turning itself into a shining example. ADB is very proud about the partnership with NCRTC, Government of India and uh, uh, state governments uh, for setting out uh, this modern uh, green and uh, futuristic transport system. Uh, this project provides millions of people in the national capital region uh, access to better economic opportunities, especially women, uh, thanks to high-speed RRTS. Once the designs were locked, came the construction phase. Across 70 kilometers, the alignment is mostly running through the middle of a congested highway. Crossing rivers and existing infrastructure, Team NCRTC is making headlines, overcoming numerous challenges. The Ghaziabad RRTS station is a case in point. Constructed at a whopping height of 26 meters above ground, it is going to be the tallest station on this corridor. Building this station along one of the busiest roads on this route has been no easy feat. As you are seeing, it is the highest station. We will see here during construction stage. You will see challenges partially off the road and on the road. इसके साथ साथ जब हम इसे कंस्ट्रक्शन हमें करने के लिए जो हमें फैसिलिटीज चाहिए थी इतने ह्यूज हाइट पे जिसके अंडर ट्रैफिक भी हमें पैसेज देना हुआ है पब्लिक भी ऐसे मेरठ तिरा जो हैवीएस्ट एक रूट है इसके साथ साथ काम करने के साथ साथ हमें मेट्रो क्रॉसिंग को भी क्रॉस करना था इतने हाइट पे तो जिसके लिए हमने डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज का यूज़ किया जो हमारा थर्ड लाइन का अलाइनमेंट था वो आगे के अलाइनमेंट में भी घरों के काफ़ी पास से जा रहा था जिसके कारण काम करते में बहुत सारे पिलर घरों के काफ़ी करीब हैं तो उनको डैमेज ना हो हम अपनी लॉन्चिंग इजीली कर सकें इसके लिए हमने टेम्प्रेरी नाइन मीटर की लैंड भी एक्वायर की और बिना किसी भी पब्लिक को इनकन्वीनियंस करे हुए उसकी लॉन्चिंग की टाइम वॉज लिमिटेड एंड क्विक प्लानिंग द नीड ऑफ द 
trains, carefully lifted loads, weighing almost 100 tons to a height of 26 meters. This included prefabricated steel segments for installing special spans and precast slab tracks. Each of these crates weighing 550 tons each. While on one side, the elevated section has seen rapid progress. Despite its complexities, the corridor alignment is underground in congested areas of Delhi and Mera, while tunneling work has its own set of challenges. To support an impressive design speed of 180 km per hour, a wider and higher rolling stock, the diameter of the RRTS tunnels is 6.5 meters. These are quite larger than the tunnels being constructed for urban transit systems in India and highly optimized as compared to the global benchmarks. Working through this maze demanded the use of the latest ultra-modern machines for the perfect job. And there it was, Sudarshan Tunnel Boring Machine. 90 meters long each, seven of these highly automated, massive machines have been deployed to break through the tunnels. A powerful machine geared to turn this engineering vision into a reality. Simultaneously, rings made up of seven segments each are being precast at the casting yards and then placed by the Sudarshans to make the walls of the tunnels. More than 80,000 precast segments are being used to make these RRTS tunnels. There were more roadblocks waiting to be defeated. Anand Vihar underground alignment crossing very close to the existing metro foundation is one such case. Metro ki existing jo utilities thi, existing basement tha. Us basement se hume apni tunnel ko nikalna tha. To ek bahut bada engineering challenge tha. The station design was suitably modified to make this possible. The result the RRTS alignment has been constructed exactly under the basement of the existing Delhi metro station. The walls of the RRTS tunnel are at a distance of approximately one meter from the metro foundation. Generally, it doesn't happen that we can remove our tunnel from any building in any basement. A highly efficient team moving ahead of its deadline. The pace at which the project has taken shape has left many in the industry speechless. This is a most prestigious project because it involves some of the latest technologies in the world. I am happy to note that in spite of COVID, the management has taken a number of steps to implement the projects on time. The project is on track and when it is completed, that will be a historical milestone. Another unique technology being used in this first-of-its-kind project is its precast ballastless slab tracks to support the design speed of 180 km per hour. But what is this technology? Let's find out. Few kilometers away from Delhi, at the 45,000 square meters, made at precast yard, this crucial element of the RRTS is being constructed. Starting with a meticulous cage fabrication process, this includes cage placing, concreting, demolding, applying the curing compound, applying the elastomeric layer, turning the slab, and finally quality check. Once at the construction site, these precast slabs are placed on the viaduct. With utmost precision, these slabs are going to have minimal vibration and noise. These precast ballastless slab tracks will not only have a longer life cycle of 100 years, but will also require minimum maintenance. It gives me so much of pride 
that a project which was been pl under planning for such a long time, but ultimately it saw the first light when Honorable Prime Minister laid the foundation in March 2019. And from then on, the project has been running very rapidly and one can see the kind of infrastructure which has come up from Delhi to Meerut. Savli, 32 kilometers from Vadodara, is a facility manufacturing technologically advanced, world-class Namo Bharat train sets. It's the beginning of another busy day at the Savli facility. Some heavy-duty lifting is in progress. A skeleton cover of New Age Modern Coach is being moved to the next stage. It takes a total of 60 minutes to finally place the massive cover on the floor. Slowly and carefully, the workers along with their supervisor make progress. These indigenously designed trains are futuristic and ready to run at a design speed of 180 kilometers. These Namo Bharat train coaches will offer state-of-the-art features, making every passenger's ride smooth and comfortable. Even though RRTS is a first-of-its-kind project being implemented in the country, it is largely being done under Make in India guidelines. 100% of its modern train sets are being designed and manufactured in India. Covering a distance of almost 1,000 kilometers, the Namo Bharat coaches arrive to get unveiled in NCR. The tracks in place and the stations nearing completion it is time to roll the much-awaited Namo Bharat trains to serve the people. The team has worked long and hard and arrived at this moment. Years of intense hard work, a significant step towards a new, modern way of life. This is going to be their moment of truth. India's first regional rail, the $4 billion RRTS project is going to be India's most ambitious infrastructure project in decades. This high-speed, high-capacity rail network will seamlessly connect the urban and semi-urban nodes of the national capital region. One hundred and eighty kilometers per hour, beating the world famous cross rail of London that runs at ninety kilometers per hour, and France's pride, RER, of a design and speed of one hundred and forty kilometers per hour. RRTS is marking India on the global map. The regional rapid transit system, RRTS, is a crucial component. This project is set to holistically improve the quality of life for millions of people, be it construction techniques, commuter amenities, or operations technology, future projects will look upon the RRTS as a best practice, both nationally and internationally. In a recent study, the Center for Science and Environment, CSE, revealed that vehicles contribute to more than 50% of Delhi's air pollution and the vehicle numbers keep increasing. The worse the traffic, the more the level of carbon emission into the atmosphere. We have to go to Delhi, so there is a lot of traffic in Radhanagar and Modi Nagar. There is no big thing in here for 2-3 hours. There is no big thing in here. There is a lot of people who are very difficult. Sometimes a man can't reach his office in the time. The arrival of the RRTS will be a significant step towards resolving this issue. NCRTC's vision of working towards a new India is also about creating a future that is sustainable and environment friendly. 
the consistent efforts to minimize air pollution at its construction sites is a case in point. The incredible pace, the successful collaboration of stakeholders and timely management have all come together with one common goal, building a new way of life for the people of the national capital region, one that is modern and eco-friendly. With a projected daily ridership of 8 lakh, the delhi ghaziabad Merat corridor will revolutionize regional transit. To successfully manage uninterrupted operation, NCRTC conducted dedicated training programs. Stations will be universally accessible. Platform screen doors for enhanced commuter safety. Round-the-clock CCTV supervision. The plan, a futuristic state-of-the-art rail network. The vision, a modernized system that will make travel easier, safer. Rapid Rail, in the evening, lights will be security and CCTV cameras will be so I can feel safe to go to the house. I think that in three hours or three and a half, it will be half of the total. So my time is half of the journey. The journey is half of the journey. RRTS will boast of a centralized operation control system, European Train Control System or ETCS Level 2 over LTE, being implemented for the first time ever globally. One of the most advanced signaling systems, this will allow trains to move seamlessly from one corridor to another with high frequency in all weather conditions. Family के साथ रहेंगे अपना आराम से थोड़ा enjoy करेंगे छोटे-छोटे बच्चों के साथ में रहेंगे इससे लोगों को बहुत फायदा होगा चालू होते ही हम लोगों के काफी फर्क पड़ेगा क्योंकि हम जो है रास्ते में सारा ट्रैफिक आने जाने में सोलियत हो जाएगी तो जाना गाड़ी चलाने बच जाएंगे सबसे बड़ी बात ये है कि फ्यूल कंज्यूम्पशन and we will do the same time. Delhi Ghaziabad Merat RRTS corridor will be the answer to many problems faced by daily travellers in the region. The 17-kilometre-long priority section was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 20th October 2023. Such modal shift and change in the centers of economic activity will help significantly decongest Delhi also. It will reduce the congestion on the roads and in the long term significantly reduce the pollution. This will lead to ease of doing business, this will lead to ease of living and significantly contribute in generating the employment and decentralization of economic activity. India's first RRTS with its world-class technology and state-of-the-art installations is all set to charm the citizens of NCR. Seamlessly connecting major public transit modes, offering a fast, safe and reliable mobility solution, bridging a significant development gap in the region's urbanization plan. RRTS is the future and the future is here.